What do you make of the Canadians going into this tournament? And I guess it, it can't, it couldn't start much more difficult than this. They got Messi and the uh, Argentinas uh, or Argentina mm. to to kick things off a week tonight. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a big start for them. That's that's where they're looking at. Um, of course, Messi, as you say, we we know that how Argentina maybe approach games. It's, it's almost as if the other nine outfield players just get around Messi and just basically just work like Trojans just to get Messi on the ball and, and get Messi in, in comfortable positions in, in, in the final third of the field. Um, that's where they are. But I mean, judging Canada on those two games, I thought there was enough positive signs even in the 4-0 defeat against, against Holland. I, I thought there was enough to suggest that they could actually go on and give Argentina a good game. And then we see the performance against France. And if you watch the last 20, 25 minutes of the France game, you saw a really confident Canadian team. You saw a team that was able to take it to France, creating, I'd, I'd say, create openings, not necessarily create big, big chances. I think France probably did have the best chances on the day. But it was more on Ismail Colney, the youngster in midfield, and his ability to, to control the midfield alongside Stefan Estacchio and Jonathan David up front having a real inference. And... The, the you know even Max Crapo in goal just the performance that he put in it, it really gave me a lot of confidence watching Canada in that game to say not necessarily beat Argentina but there's certainly a chance to get something get a point from that game that will set them up for the Peru and Chile games.